Hello everybody, my name is Adam and we are back in Planet Zoo today where I am going to show you some advanced building techniques as well as some of the most useful shortcuts within Planet Zoo to use when building advanced buildings like you can see in front of me here, Bernie's Bakes, what I recently created. But by the way, if you do want Bernie's Bakes in your own zoo, then in the description box below will be a link to follow to my Steam Workshop page where you can download this and have it in your own zoos if you wish to do so. I'm going to show you some of the techniques I personally use and I think are the most productive ones and the most valued ones to have when using advanced building techniques to build something like you can see in front of me. So we've got Bernie's Bakes here and the first thing we're going to do is bring up our UI which stands for User Interface. If you don't already know how to do this, we do this by pressing G. If you press G again, it will go away. This makes it a very handy shortcut to be able to take screenshots to be able to share to your friends or to social media or such. So we'll press G, we'll bring it up and as you can see, Bernie's Bake Shop has got a piece missing so on the front we have got a piece missing here and this it leads us to show you an example of how i like to do stuff so as you can see it's in a group it's grouped with other objects so the first thing we need to do is double left click on our mouse on the item we want to duplicate so we want to extend this this column down don't we so i'm going to cl double click and it takes us into the group and we've also got it selected here now there's a couple of ways how we can go about doing this so if we if we press ctrl and d it will duplicate this item now as you can see our on the bottom right our position snap is currently on and our line to surface is currently on so we can we, i'm going to turn a line to surface off because we don't really want it attaching to the floor but we're going to keep position snap on and by keeping position snap on we can just move our mouse and you can see it snapping to all these different positions of all the different angles we've got going on within this building now this can be very helpful when creating you know say we place this here and we keep position snap on boom how easy is that to just stack things up and make columns like this all i'm doing is keeping position snap on and just left clicking now here's another one let's get rid of this and the easiest way to get rid of something to, to basically undo what you've just done is Control and z boom takes them away keep pressing until it takes them away if we want to redo that immediately because we've gone we've deleted something we didn't want to delete then Control and y will redo everything just like so so let's control and z all these away so that's the first little technique i wanted to show you but we need to repair this don't we so the best way to repair this in my opinion is clicking on it and just advanced duplicating it so we're going to press control and x boom so it's duplicated we can't see it because it's currently above the original one we've duplicated but it's opened up this menu here now this little menu here now there's, a, there's quite a few things we can do in this menu but to simply duplicate this down it's already in the position where we've originally duplicated it so we need to select this arrow here don't we we need to click we need to click on the left mouse and just drag that down so it's in place nice and neat just like that left click to place and press exit to exit we'll press exit again to exit the group we'll press exit again to deselect everything and boom we've repaired it we've got it back in place but i'll just go back into this menu to show you the things we can do so again i've double clicked to gone in but this time once we've got something selected we're going to press x and we're going to now move it around here now by pressing x it's also brought up this menu now i'm going to show you some of the little things we can do within this menu this is a very good building this is a very good building technique to use when building something like you've seen me build here and for numerous reasons so this is how you get precise in planet zoo really and if something doesn't line up this is an easiest way to line something up instead of let's take it out so let's split it from the group we'll do that and then we'll take it completely out as you can see i've got it here on my mouse attached to my mouse but it's quite difficult to move something like this in any direction precisely without going over so i'll give you the example if i duplicate this here look how hard it is to get this we'll turn position snap off for example purposes 
look how hard it is for me to get this level here but if we press x and bring up this menu look how easy it is now to get it exactly lined up the way we want it and get everything nice and even look at that perfect we can place that down now but i left click in and we can create a little wall here this is a very useful technique when creating like a custom wall or a custom barrier and the other thing we can do in this menu i'll just bring it up here so it's more in view if we press x again brings up this menu now if we make sure the angle snap is off on the bottom right hand menu here we can now rotate this very precisely exactly where we want it in absolutely any direction we want it to but if you don't want to precisely move it let's duplicate it over again let's raise it up we'll press x to get back here where it was we can turn this angle snap on so if we turn it on we can rotate things this is a very useful technique when creating anything circular whether it be a circular circular habitat using custom barriers or a circular building i'm not going to show you and demonstrate to you how to create circular things within this video because i've already got a tutorial about this and it looks something like this and i'll probably leave it in the description below or you can search around my channel and you will find it if you want to learn how to build anything circular but back to this and this is a very easy way to build circular stuff so we'll place that there and that's pretty much how I precisely move anything when building anything. As you can see, inside of Bertie's is also... Bernie's, sorry, not Bertie. Is it Bernie's or Bertie's? Bernie's, it's not Bertie's. It's Bernie's. Anything in Everything inside Bernie's is also very high detailed. And I use a lot of these techniques, these advanced move techniques, when building some flat, something like this. But I'm going to show you a very easy technique now to build custom walls like this. So let's go over here and we've got a wall built here it's obviously on the grid because it's a wall what comes on the grid now I'll, i'm going to just duplicate this over and put it here and then i'll show you now whatever i put on this wall piece we can duplicate it over very easily and this is how you build stuff like this so we'll go on wall decorations for example and what we'll do is is we'll place this down we'll use our advanced build uh, moving techniques what i've previously shown you and we'll get this nice and lined up here as like a wall base and then we can put anything we want so let let's put this little kind of like wall statue on we'll dig it into the wall like that now we've got pretty much a custom wall right and it's on the grid which is very useful so if we go into the building group and we're going to select control okay we're going to hold the control key in on our keyboard we're going to select our left mouse and we're going to just drag over everything here to select everything and now we're going to press control and d to duplicate it right so now as you can see it's also duplicated the pieces we've put on the wall and when we place it we can just keep going we can press Z to rotate at 90 degrees like this and look how easy it is to build a building now you've got your custom wall pieces in place look how easy that is instead of duplicating it manually one by one you can now just move it like this and duplicate it like this and honestly how much time is that gonna save it, it's such a handy tool to use I'm going to show you quickly how to single out stuff so obviously you know you can single out any object and press split from group and then when you move it it will split it from the group but I'll show you how to do multiple objects so we're in the building group at the moment and I'm going to do exactly the same with no, and select an, any, build, any items within that building group so I say, say I want to delete the, that side right let's do it more precisely I want to delete all that half of it so I've used control I've used the left mouse button and I've dragged it over as you can see and I've selected it off now we can delete that remember you can press control and Z to bring it back and control and Y to delete it again to redo and that's a very easy way we can also split it from the group or we can duplicate the whole thing like that and now look how easy it is to build now look how look at this very simple very easy 
I always say in Planet Zoo, once you've done one part, it's so much easier to do the rest. And that's what I did in Bernie's Bakes. You can see all these walls here are the same. And all I've done is duplicate the walls over like you've just seen me do here. I'm going to give you some little, a little bit more shortcuts and a little bit more building techniques. But if this, if this video is currently helping you out in any way, then hit that like button. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. I do all kinds of Planet Zoo related videos like you are watching now. Now we're going to go back to Bernie's. And the reason we're going back to Bernie's, we're going to talk a bit about custom flooring. As you can see, I've got like a cobble effect um custom floor here as well as like a curve and inside we've also got wooden flooring and carpet down now if you didn't already know then uh, again this is this is more for new players this video this is more for the newer players but if you didn't already know your guest and your um your employees as you can see our lovely employee here will walk on anything as long as there is a path underneath what I mean by this is underneath here I have got a path running through and I've got a path running through in the areas I want at where I want my guests running through so if I select all this and I'll just show you here we'll select this and we'll delete it as you can see underneath is our path and this is so our guests can use it our guests will walk on anything you put down so down here I've got a line to the grid and we've got concrete slabs. Now I'll just show you, you can create a simple looking path like this and as long as you run a path underneath by doing what I'm going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select your path, select your path menu, align to grid and then you want to align it to the building group so you press left click on the group and as you can see it's now aligned make sure your curbs are off you want all these options off in the bottom right here it went doing this and you just click it down and then your guests will now walk underneath these building blocks here so let's delete these and you'll see the path underneath and your guests will walk and it, it gives you the opportunity to be able to create custom paths like I've done here I've just used the temple pieces the concrete wall piece sorry and then added the temple wall temple stone support beams in it to give it that like cobblestone street effect and yeah it's up to your imagination what kind of paths you create underneath your um I mean on top of your actual in-game pass and that's a very easy way to make any building really stand out and be visually attractive like this and once you've got these little techniques and these little keyboard shortcuts I'm showing you here the possibilities are endless honestly Planet Zoo is a, it's, it's a zoo game isn't it you create a zoo and it's all about animals but honestly once you learn and you master these different techniques and the little keyboard shortcuts you need to know then the world you are to becomes a building simulator that's what it is for me at the moment planet zoo is a building simulator before we go and before the end of this video i just wanted to show you another very simple technique if you didn't already know this just with a basic wall like this if we select it like this and we hold the shift button you can see we can raise it exactly whatever setting we have on the bottom right here so currently it's it's um, connected to four meters so it's very easy way just hold shift and boom you've got a two-story building at four meters like so simple or we can narrow this down to the lowest setting one meter and now we can raise it by holding shift one meter we can also move it in and out by one meter also again it's just a, a very easy nice little trick to use when trying to place items and building pieces on the grid in a more precise fashion we've come to the end of the video now i hope this video did help you if it did then hit that like button any anything more you want to see this was a suggested video off a of viewer of mine actually i've never done this video so i thought i'll give it a go i hope it helped you if it did then hit the like button comment down below and i will respond to all the comments i get anything you see me build like good old bernie's bake shop here again it's in my steam workshop link in the description my name's Adam. i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video